Well, today happens to be National Beer and National Burrito Day, and some of us here at TV17 soaked in the designation, including our own Robert Price. Today is National Beer Day, and I know what you might be thinking. Where do they come up with this stuff? National Beer Day is as silly as National Lost Sock Memorial Day, which, by the way, is a real thing. National Beer Day was inspired by none other than President Franklin D. Roosevelt for a reasonably legitimate reason. Like you, sir, in the leather recliner need a legitimate reason to drink a beer. April 7th commemorates the 1933 signing of the Cullen Harrison Act, which allowed Americans to buy and drink low alcohol content beer and wine. It was kind of a precursor to the repeal of prohibition later that same year. Upon signing the legislation, FDR uttered the immortal words, I think this would be a good time for a beer. No, really, he actually said that. So where in Bakersfield is a good place to celebrate National Beer Day? Other than the nearest convenience store beer cooler, I mean. Well, connoisseurs of the Suds have many fine beer pubs to choose from. You may be surprised to learn Kern County has 20 companies licensed by the State Alcoholic Beverage Control to make and sell beer. And several of those companies, most notably Lengthwise Brewing, have multiple retail beer making operations. I'm here at Timbler Brewing on Buck Owens Boulevard. You know what they say, every day is beer day at Timbler. Given the never-ending, ever-changing flavors and variety on tap here, we can take that literally. Such is the evolution of the industry since FDR poured himself that first lager in 1933. I'd urge you to drink responsibly, of course, and for starters, that means do not drink on an empty stomach. Naturally, I have suggestions in that area as well. This also happens to be National Burrito Day, and I am not referring to little donkeys. I'm referring to the flour tortilla-wrapped meal. Today, the burrito has been elevated to an art form. Anything you can think of, we, we can throw it in a burrito. There may be more worthy establishments in Kern County preparing world-class burritos than there are brew pubs. I'm at Sancho's on 18th Street, where they clearly serve anyone. You know, Bob, I came here to get a burrito in peace. 17 Sunrise anchor Alex Fisher, a regular here, acknowledges that Mexican cuisine and burritos in particular have become a dominant cuisine. The burrito is becoming more of the American staple if you really think about it. You can't be just a plain bean and cheese burrito and then you can put, you know, some type of chicken or beef in it or something like that. It's true. The burrito has conquered America in ways Ray Kroc could only have dreamed about 70 years ago. Eat up. You know what to wash it down with. Happy National Beer Day and Happy National Burrito Day. This wouldn't also happen to be National Cheesecake Day, would it? No, I suppose not. In Bakersfield, Robert Price, 17 News.